What's up, YouTube? Clarin221 here, and welcome back to another Coney Pierce 2 replay. This time I'm playing as the Germans, and we are on the map Steps. So, let's first turn off the Fog of War. Basically, on a 4v4 on Steps, the bottom player takes the island. My, gu my job would be to take the field on the center. This guy's job, War Pig. I played with Warpig actually yesterday. Hmm. I met him again. Small world. Anyway, his job would be to take the fuel. I mean the uh, this no victory point, and Loki is to take the northern victory point, right? Um, I'm you know I'm very uh, talkative in this. So I was telling Cyber or whatever that I I got the fuel. Don't worry about that. So I'm getting my. Uh, I've been testing out different starts for the Germans, like I've been getting like two or three machine guns and then grenadiers, and now I'm going like two machine guns and about two grenadiers is good because you can like, your machine guns can pin down the conscripts and your grenadiers can help like rifle grenade them and stuff, but it also helps you, uh, it keeps scout cars away from your guys. So as you can see, these guys... So far they've gone with support weapons, support weapons, support weapons, and just pure conscripts from this guy. As you can see he wants to take as much territory as possible, he's already got two conscript squads out. And he's going for this. So, there must have been some miscommunication, like he didn't really talk to me, so we're both going for the fuel here. Now the fuel is pretty important. This guy's kind of stopped a little bit. I think the hardest part on this map is the southern area here. Because usually you lose it completely and you're pushed back to like your side here or your side there. Anyway, I do have a little bit of a cold if I sound a little, a little off here. But I, I really wanted to show this awesome battle here. Plus, you know, never know when an update's going to come and wipe out my replays. <laughs> it's one of the things I hate about coming to Heroes 2. Well, actually, it's one of the very few things I hate about coming to Heroes 2. These guys are in cover up here. Conscripts oorahing, throwing a mall. Uh, oh, right into the bush. And that literally wiped out his guys. Very nice Molotov there. But he's just using that to hold him up so he can get his MGs. As you can see... That's right, Warput build a bunch of bunkers too. I'm actually... I've never knew you could do this, guys, but you can actually help someone build a bunker. So I'm just helping him get this thing set up, and I'm helping to repair it. And I got my grand ears. So, so far right now, one, we're double teaming the fuel right now, which is good, because we need all the fuel we can get. These guys got pinned immediately, because three machine guns are shooting at them. I'm sorry it's not a single one went down. Well, I've turned these guys around on this flank. We have some mixed fighting down here, flanking around. Uh, meanwhile, up here... These guys are still getting pinned. They got Molotov again. Very good use of Molotovs and flanking. So I'm feeling pretty comfortable. I got a mortar out. I'm trying to use mortars more often. And I hate people that mortar spam. I'll do another video about that. About how it's very, um, it's impractical. Anyway, we push them back off the field. And I realize that no one's going for this, uh, the northern area really. I mean, we got some scattered fighting up there. They're pretty entrenched in the south right now. But... You gotta adjust, right? Even though I am supposed to be taking this field and holding it, and I have a decent amount of forces, War Pig, I'm actually, since I upgraded to tier 1, I'm gonna go back there. But, um, you know, battle, plans, battle plans change, guys. You know, you can't. I'm just gonna let this guy hold the field in a little bit. I'm gonna move all my forces up here to try to control this area. Because right now, nothing is stopping that. This guy's not built a single building yet, and it's built a field cache array. So let's go look at the Soviets, um,. Oh, we can see how many kills they have. I have zero, and Warpig has two deaths. Yeah, so we can just we just pin these guys. I mean, they're not taking any casualties. <laughs> There's my mortar. Also, he put his machine gun right next to mine. If they had a mortar right now, they could utterly destroy us. And look, 120 millimeter mortar, 400 manpower, right back here. Let's go to him really quickly and see if that's in range. Looks to be in range. So, meanwhile, 
Um, I gotta say, this guy's doing a good job. Loki is doing a good job of really pressuring them up north, especially with his pioneers to do holding actions. But he does need to tech up. Good thing Warpig, Warpig and me are both teching up at the same time. They're pretty heavily entrenched on this hill, and they're 120 millimeter mortar. Is that his? They kill one of my mortar guys. So I'm like, okay, <laughs> uh, I'm done with this front. I think I'm about to shift my forces up north. Or actually, you know what I'm trying to do? I'm trying to move up to try to take out these mortars. But look, they've got a uh, guard rifleman already, and he's got a mortar too. He's got two mortars. I'm trying to watch our right flank here. I'm not sure what's up there because we have no, no contact there. I'm calling it right in the trench. By the way, you should not have your conscripts this close to mortars. Mortars make great targets. That 120 million mortar is ridiculous. Anyway, our machine guns are covering these guys, and we're just barraging the hell out of this 120 millimeter mortar. Not so much right about the 82 millimeter mortar. But my mortar got completely wiped out. <laughs> anyway, I got my good old half track out. With f I'm gonna get flame rejectors on. I'm pretty sure. I usually get this every game because it's so useful. There's my mortar guy going like, "Why did I have to come to this front?" And he runs off and disappears in the trees. Now, usually when they have a lot of infantry. You're hoping that you can just get your half track in there and burn the hell out of them. As you can see, I'm upgrading that. I, got, I pull my machine gun back a little bit further to cover this flank here, just in case. I'm afraid I might get flanked from this side. And well, because there's no nothing right up here, because we're double teaming the field right now, they can just walk around and flank this guy. Unfortunately for him. So I'm gonna try to flank around and get some of these mortars. Let's see where the guy riflemen are. Guard riflemen are over here, and they got shock troops. There's a reason, guys, that guard riflemen and shock troops are not in the same. Uh, I'm trying to recover my mortar. There's a reason they're not in the same uh, doctrine, because that would be overpowered. Pull back, pull back, pull back. I'm a big believer of do not drop your equipment to the enemy. So I see those guard riflemen there, and so I kind of use my inventory to spot right, and I see an anti-tank, and I'm like, okay. <laughs> Because they're shooting at that, I'm just going to go right past this, just try to burn as many of them as I can. They switch targets, which means I need to I need a rifle grenade there too. I'm just going to try to circle around and kill as many of these guys as I can, even killing some guard riflemen here. But you know, oh, even have my panzer grenades here. I'm going to pull up and just finish off this, this maxim. I can now get the Corvair 43 for my infantry. Very nice half track usage there, I thought myself, but I think I might have not. I didn't lose my grenadiers. As you can see, you can just bypass these anti tank guns if they're not, you know, focused on you. And I'm going to pull this guy back because he is pretty wounded. Meanwhile, well, huge fight up here. Once again, more bunkers. It is a reinforcement bunker, so he can, like, reinforce his guys, which is pretty much like a half track there. But honestly, to get a bunker, all you need is an SU-85 that can snipe it, and a basic mortar. I mean, they can be used very, they can be used early, but they're not the uh, the best use of a unit. By the way, conscripts get utterly destroyed. How many kills I have? Twelve. Conscripts get utterly destroyed by um, Panzer Grenadiers. Like, I had two Panzer Grenadier squads, and they wiped out three or four or four units of, of conscripts. Ooh, Ryan. He really should upgrade his men with an MG42. He might have spent a lot of his munitions on this bunker here. Once again, though, 82 millimeter mortar, you know, is going to come after him. We even got a cargo bliss truck here. Just look at the doctrines we all went. Loki went mechanized assault with the assault grenadiers. I haven't seen him use any of those guys yet. You should really use those guys. Oh, there they are. Good, good, good. He's using them. Under mortar fire. 
You want to get your infantry? Lightning war. I want lightning war there. I really want to use it for the Stuka air support, which will come in very handy later on. There's a reason I wanted to show this war before. Anyway, very early. Well, it's a 10 minute rule, right? You're going to have a tank out around 10 minutes. Unless they're going so the industry, then you can have a T-34 out in 6 minutes. So he's going to lose this north. By the way, these guys do not have any um, Panzer Shreks. Anyway, I see a T-34 and I'm going, oh my gosh. I don't have enough for that. I do have enough to get a Panzer IV, which I'm going to immediately call on. I'm going to move this the hell out of here because that's a lot of munitions I'm investing into that. It's going to go right after my MG-42s. Luckily, I was able to withdraw these guys in time. So, once again, mortars don't do anything to tanks. So, we've lost the north, we've lost the south, and they have a uh, <laughs> Panzer IV. But guess what? It's Saba. Sabra. I wonder if that's his real name. Anyway, as you can see, can utterly kill these guys. So we just massacred their whole infantry unit, and the tank's gonna come up. Now I can shoot a Panzerfaust, or I can. I'm gonna shoot a Panzerfaust because my because my Panzer IV is coming out. If I can damage these guys long enough, I'm like, okay, definitely time to get out of here. Good, he's using that too. By the way, the longer the game goes on, the less and less important light vehicles become. Half tracks are always important. They can be used up until the last second of the game to reinforce troops and keep your men no more towards the front, right? These guys are starting to double team, so Warpig is kind of It seems like he's all over the place. You saw me in the center, and then the center collapsed, and now he's down here. The thing is, there's a huge fight for this field every time. You need a lot of troops defending it, right? But this field usually doesn't have a ton of people. Field gun shooting off its lighter tiller barrage. And he's even injured that, so guess what? My Panzer IV is coming. I got some of these guys waiting. We're going to assault this point again. And even if they have more conscripts, it's okay. These conscripts get destroyed by Panzer Grenadiers. And there is all of our fuel and munitions. So I'm going to go in and just shoot this, shoot this uh, little T-34 for fun. T-70, I'm sorry, not a T-34. He does a very little bit of damage. This is mainly used against infantry. It's 55 fuel. Now I'm afraid these guys might... Okay. So we got bazookas. Panzer strikes is what they were called. And we're going to try to wipe out this... I also have tactical movement. So I'm just going to go right through these guys and hope they don't have anti-tank. And unfortunately, I've lost half my men already. The best I can do is get these guys out here, and I can't even do that. So this is a bad engagement, and they're going to hit my train. Oh, pull back. Pull back. Not good. Not good. Oh, that's awesome. I can... Okay, that's pretty epic. I'm not going to lie. As the... Okay, that was cool. Learn new stuff every day. So it's really not looking too good. I mean, we've taken the south, right? We've lost the field, and they are heavily defending this. Now, these these conscripts, look at them. Veteran Z2, wiped out. That's what I'm talking about. I just got to get out the negative cover of the road. Meanwhile, we got a stew coming in. I will gladly just start pulling these guys, taking out as many of these conscripts as I can, because conscripts suck. Here's what I don't want to, here's what I don't want these guys to have. I do not want these guys to have our Panzer Shrek. I'm gonna pick this thing up and pull back with it. That was my goal. Do not let your Panzer Shreks fall in the hands of conscripts, which are 20 man power to replace. You know, I got these guys repairing, getting another Panzer four. These guys are coming up. My machine gun's still sitting back here. I don't think I really need it. We've lost a few. My, my goal right now is to take the Northern Victory Point. Meanwhile, the Stug along with the Stug 3 Assault. This is actually very good against infantry. 
It's very weak against any kind of armor, though. He got repaired. He's going to move his, his T-34 up there. It would be nice if they put down some mines or something. I mean, it wouldn't be nice for me, right? But Ah, yes. The deadly hab track with the quad mount. Very good at killing aircraft. And look at all this. Like These guys are 120mm mortar, mortar spamming us. Do they all have 120mm mortars? Yep. 120 mm mortar. 120 mm mortar. Okay, one guy doesn't have 120 mm mortar. And that's a computer? Who's the computer? I didn't see any of these guys having a. Wow. I did not realize this was a computer this whole time. So, for the mass amount of tanks that are going to take place up here a little bit later, it's, it's worth showing this. So, whatever this guy does, don't bother. Um, we're not going to pay any attention to what he does, really. And my own mortars here, mass infantry assault here. As you can see, this guy's T-34 is up here. I thought T-34 would be up there, so... Either way, we took this over. I have my mortar. I need it to stop firing. And a Katusha. They are blasting this area where I have my uh, half track. Massive infantry down here. Vehicle button. I said the AI isn't bad right now. I mean, they button my vehicle and threw some anti tanks on it, but I gotta. I'm able to pull back. But I want to go up to this Katusha. This is the human player. Keep that in mind. Put it a little too close to the front line and forgot about it. They're hurting my tank a little bit. So I'm getting my MG lined up and I'm going to pull back my tank and lead them into that. Meanwhile, Panzer IV up here. Killing the T-70 light tank. That's really cool how it tells you what time the AI took over. Anyway, Avengers 2 T-34 should try to get the hell out of there, but he's going to lose it. Meanwhile, these guys are just going to retreat. My mortar is probably going to kill some of my own men. That seems like almost one of theirs. Yeah, it's their mortars. I don't want to lead these guys too far because I'm afraid there's going to be a machine gun here, which there is. And I was going like, what the hell? The AI usually likes to get right behind your lines. You can see they're right here and I'm just gonna I'm trying to keep my engineers alive. Pioneers. I'm gonna destroy this quad mount here. By the way, don't quit after thirteen minutes. Like you've seen matches where me and Juicebox were lose Juicebox and I were like losing massively. And we came back in the end and we just utterly like it was so close, but it was so much fun because we just came back. You know, like when you quit at 13 minutes, unless like you have to go suddenly, then you shouldn't really be playing Company of Heroes. To online, you should be like, you need at least about an hour for a game. Usually they're about 30 minutes, but an hour to be safe, right? But I mean, you leave that, you leave them with an AI, which is never going to be as good as a human. Well, sometimes they're better than the humans. We got an awesome one up here. Very good counter to the infantry, actually. Let's see how many conscripts this guy has. And we wiped out two more, two more guys. Now, this guy from the center realizes there's no real pressure. We can push back from the, the south again. Massive mortars. Ooh, this will be fun. Is it, what is this? Oh, he pinned them all. Yeah, I think the pinning should kill. You can't actually um, get any IL-2s. The closest thing you can get are these stupid close air support. And what that does is it will um, it'll hunt for tanks. I gotta pull these guys back. Now, this is why I showed it. Look, these two human players are making a push. <laughs> They're like, oh god, oh gosh. <laughs> This one MG back here is going to hold all these guys at bay, right? 
They got a T-3485. And there's going to be a lot of these up here. And look. Even more T-3485s. These are human players here. These guys are not shooting at the tanks, unfortunately. Look at this. They're trying to wipe out my infantry. I'm trying to pull out these one-man squads, right? With the amount of Panzer Shrek's flying at these guys, they're pulling them back right now. So overall, this half track worth a whole lot because I can reinforce these guys. I need to pull this guy back. I see that my ally is continuing the fight up here. Meanwhile, there's more tank battles up here. It's just a light tank. These are the T-3485s, though. I cannot tell you how many of these guys they have in this match. There's a ton. But they're focusing on that unit. He needs to pull back, and it got wiped down, unfortunately. This is a very cool view. Anyway, I got some of my guys. I got three Panzer IVs right now. One has been marked targeted. And it seems like the South, once again, literally totally abandoned. But it's all the fight up north. Now, I see the Panzer IVs. I see these T-3485s, you know, I see it right there at the rear armor. I'm going to charge forward, even though my guys aren't fully repaired. If I can take out one of these tanks, I'll do it. Because I want to take out these guys. I mean, getting a pack, guys. I never get packs. I rely on my, my tanks as my anti -tank. So I'm, I'm pushing. Probably a little dangerously I'm pushing. But I want to get rid of these T-3485s. I and mean, he's not turning his tank. That's his fault. Because I want to get rid of this tank here. So, it's like he's not even paying attention right here. He's so focused on pulling back, maybe. Nothing really else is happening. His tank should be his priority. Anyway, now he's realizing that, oh my gosh, I just lost that tank. He's going to wipe me out, possibly. And I'm pushing. And look, a Katusha is coming out. He had a, he obviously had a set point there. And I'm blitzing, guys. I'm going to take out that first. And now I'm going to take out that. Boom. Time to pull back. The boys have done a good job. Good idea to get the hell out of here. Meanwhile, they got a, another T-34. That's just a computer, though. I got my pack up here. This machine gun has done a great job of pulling people down. Got my Veterans E2 crew here. It's going to start, uh... You got a mortar all the way up here? I'm going to pull my tank. Meanwhile, pulling back, taking some shots. These Panzer IVs are, did a really good job of taking out those tanks. You know, like Katusha. Those guys lost their... No, okay, those... I was going to say, I thought they lost their panzer strike. That has been abandoned. And I'm going to take this. Now keep in mind, because I have the half track here, do it with your cheapest infantry. Like, I've seen people man uh, guns, uh, like a pack or something, or a tank, with guard riflemen. Those are very expensive infantry. It costs 25 reinforcements to get a, a pioneer squad here, so I'm going to use a pioneer to take that. Now, if I lose this tank, it doesn't really matter a lot to me, but look, guard riflemen spam. And more T-3485s. This is why I show this battle. This is going to be an epic battle for this point here. And it's going to go on for quite a little while. Anyway, I'm like, oh my gosh, Pioneer, get the hell back. They're going to pull away from that a little bit. I need to pull this back. I'm pulling back my uh, my injured tanks. I'm going to meet up them all back here with this uh, half track. They might take this point temporarily, but... I'm not too worried. There's another big tank battle in the center here. Warpig decided to move up again. It's very interesting how they shipped. And now points are just... Ooh, nice. Anyway, they take it. I'm going to take it right back. This is my territory. So I re... I could really use a second Pioneer squad. Actually, I do have two. So I'm going to start repairing these first. The T-34 doesn't have that good of a gun. Meanwhile, Veteran Z-3. And guess what I'm calling? I'm calling the Stuka Close Air Support right here. They got wiped out, unfortunately. Now look, this kills tanks. Right? It suppresses infantry and it kills tanks. It's not very good against them. 
infantry, but it's a real tank killer. So there's a tank. And look, nice flank around, I'll give it to him there. Oh, those guys are going to get practically wiped out. I'm trying to pull him back. I need to get this guy back. They got suppressed by, uh, I think, my machine gun there. These guys do not die. They are veteran C3. I really need to get this guy back slightly. What else is going on? These guys are up here. These guys are going to retreat. A lot of anti-tank shuffling around here. A lot of SUs. T-3485s. We're making a lot of pushes. When they isolate a T-3485 like this... Unbelievable. They, can they really see a tank through that brush? Uh, yeah, his, his tiger's kind of screwed. It's also all about, you know, putting pressure here, not letting them have fuel caches and stuff, right? So I'm repairing my tanks over here. A little blobby. If they did have some artillery, that could be a, a big problem. I'm under attack again. I was trying to kill some of these, uh, those division field guns there. He's pulled back his tiger, I'm assuming, yeah. And I'm calling another. No, that's not me. That's like, that's like sector artillery or bombing run. Very nice. It's a combo. Wow. Luflav is really coming in there to help. Anyway, the T-3485 is trying to take on a Tiger from the front with Panthers. Eh, not the smartest idea. They are still T-34s. And while I've kind of set up here, I mean, I might be criticized for just, you know, they can, like, push on there and I'll support them when I need. But right now, there's so many, there's anti-tanks and SEUs here that there's not really, I don't really see much of a point in pushing on this side too much. I can see a point in pushing in the south a little bit, right? By the way, when you merge a, um... When you merge conscripts into a shock troop troops um, squad, there they don't have the same health. As you can see, a shock trooper has armor, body armor, right there. You see, he has a little bit of body armor. Well, he's in the water, so you can't see too well. But these guys have some body armor, and the conscripts don't. So I want to get a tiger because I have enough to get a tiger. I want enough fuel. I just don't have enough population. So I'm gonna go in here, and we're gonna do some work. We're going to blow up some of these tanks. Bring it on. They bumped my vehicle, but there's too many of them. There's too many of them. We just blew up that veteran Z2. I'm telling you, if I had an IL-2 or something, if I had some artillery, that would have been excellent. So you know what? I did my damage. I took out two tanks. I'm not going to get crazy. I'm going to pull back. I'm trying to get my pack killed so I can get that tiger. Meanwhile, I called, um... I didn't realize they were attacking there. I should have supported them a little bit better, especially with all these flanks turn. But I don't want to lose my Panzer Force. Now, I'm trying to give up my pack so I can have enough, because a pack is a lot of population. Unfortunately, you know about keeping the equipment on your own side. When I gave it to the enemy, they're going to do some real damage with it, so... Ah, uh, miscalculation. But I can start targeting this SU-85 here. I call... Someone else called this. And we even got the weak point. I'm trying to finish off one of these tanks. So look at that. On this side, there's two Tigers. I want my own. So this guy's got routed. I have enough, and I'm gonna pull call an eight. Now I realize. Oh wait a second. Twenty four is a little bit more. So I gotta send someone else to their death. Hello, T thirty four. So you know, I feel kind of bad for the Germans driving the Russian tank, but if I can just ram or something, look, look how he's pulling his tanks into a dead end. If I can at least take out this crew here. 
that'd be good because his tigers are kind of damaged and I do manage to do that I'm also slowing up the tank advance here and that gets destroyed so got rid of a T-34 I bought this camo I just liked it for some reason I don't know it looks kind of cool I think I'll upgrade that when I can. So I got four Panzer, three Panzer fours, and a Tiger. Oh, with plenty of infantry. And we are taking the south again with just a Panzer four. I mean, sorry, a Panther. More tank battles to come, guys. They're just quick, simply uh, repairing their tanks. These guys even have a busted gun. You don't see that too often with, the, with an Su-85. It's almost like I rammed it or something and lost its uh, gun there. So I'm trying to lay down a teller mine and got run from it or not. Uh, look, they even it was the computer that took my pack. Oh my gosh. Oh boy, that's not good. They manned it with guard rifleman, by the way. That's not smart. I'm trying to lay another teller mine down here. And just with the amount of guard riflemen, it's kind of ridiculous. Now, I know they can butt my vehicle, but Panzer IVs are pretty good against these guys. I do have some bouncing Bettys here, as you can see. And look. See, this is guard, guard riflemen spam. There's six guard riflemen right here. And they have Panzer Shreks. I'm pulling back all my guys, and look, that guy got killed by this pack, and this guy got killed by this pack, so I really wish I hadn't given that damn pack on them, but look, look at the ferocity, look at the fierceness these guys are attacking me with, and these are human players, so like, there's like 18 guard riflemen, let's count, I want to I wanna be, wanna be amused here, two guard riflemen, pulling back even further, no, this is a guy who doesn't have any guard riflemen. Three guard riflemen. And two, so that's a ton of guard riflemen. My tiger's taking some casualties, but not enough. Artillery is raining down. There is dead guard riflemen all over this area. Their massive attack has been foiled. They did take over the point, though. But, I mean, the Panthers, along with these... Uh, Panzer Shreks, especially on the flanks of these guys. It's really helping. Meanwhile, this pack gun is starting to shoot at my... Uh, I called a relief infantry. Supposedly, if I lose four men or more, it will it'll help me out. Because I just got decimated by my inf infantry-wise there. But I guess I get close trooping. Anyway, my mind went off there. Surprisingly, none of my Betty. Well, I guess my Betty's went off. I want these guys to die. Especially with how many tanks. They took out two of my tanks. And you can see Veterans E2 MG42. Couldn't do it. Kill enough of them, though. So there's a lot of tank action over here. A lot of tanks are being destroyed and marked targeted. I almost feel like this guy is a little. Not like he's, he's a little cocky with his uh, Tigers. He really needs them to get them prepared. Because he's completely outflanked over here. And he's on mark vehicle. Whenever your target's mark target, get the hell out of there. Because it's going to die. So as that's happening, I'm trying to help him. Because I don't like seeing Tigers get destroyed. Especially when he still has one left. And it's, it's weakest armor to the enemy there. More tiger. So he killed the T-34. I'm going to try to pull this guy back because he's a veteran T-2. I'm going to blitz him out of there. I think my tiger can finish off these guys. In fact, our tiger and our panther can probably finish off all these guys here. And we can probably take out the field gun too. And I'm trying to pull back, I guess. I don't really see a point in charging that. And look, veteran Z-3 guard rifleman. He's going to charge in his panther. 
So once again, I'm trying to keep my armor alive. Especially after losing two of those armor. I wonder if my guys could... I don't think there's a salvage on this anymore. I think there. I don't remember if there was a salvage on this, but you could like salvage some munitions or something, or some fuel from those tanks. His panther is almost dead. So this seems like a good area to keep your tanks if you're trying to defend this point. And I'm trying to repair this this tank here. I got a lot of men. Meanwhile, my uh, my infantry started to move back up here. In fact, these guys are like behind enemy lines. Do you see how wrecked this area is? Look how many, look how many tanks. It's like a tank graveyard here. Look, this is gonna go right into my veteran Z3 guys. They're getting a little desperate. We have all three victory points. We have the south. The south is. Ah, oh, there's anti tanks. The south is mostly under control. So I gotta say, these guys fought pretty hard with just a computer ally, too. But, it was overall just their tanks. Our tanks were, we were, we were smarter with our tanks, but they did spam guard riflemen in there, veteran C3, too, so. I guess three units of guard riflemen. Look out, look at those hits. And it looks like we're coming under fire from some of these guys. Let's see if this up I hear a quad mount. What if that wiped out that vehicle? The thing about the the IL2 though, the IL2 takes on infantry too. And I'm like, so this this is an example of why it's an AI. Because at this moment, you're 37 minutes into the game, right? You're not gonna you're not gonna make a light vehicle, right? It makes no sense. Boom. Main gun destroyed. Actually, I don't think... It has a gun. I guess it has a 50 cal or whatever on the front. His tanks are pretty badly beat up. And I wiped out one of his armored guys there. It was worth it. I got my large tank force here ready to respawn. Gonna make another Panzer IV. Anyway, my Avengers say three guys are trying to take out this... Besides the, uh, that must be the light artillery barrage that we're throwing in these guys. Yeah, light artillery barrage. I've killed 135 men so far, most in the game, and dealt quite a lot of damage. He's getting these. The computer's repairing them. That's kind of a nice thing the computer does. Another computer's just up there. More regroup. I'm gonna make one final push, I think, toward the victory point. Three guard rifleman squads, two SU-85s. You can actually, if you press attack here, the AI will actually, the computer will actually go over there. So I figure 75 points, might as well move up. I'm surprised I don't have another uh, Panzer IV when I can get one. So we have a T-3485. Right there, and the SU-85, they pull up. It's like an all-out, uh, don't really care if we lose anything. Someone called like a light artillery barrage or something on these guys, but... But they did a marked target, and I'm like, oh my gosh, pull the hell back. Got a veteran T on that, gonna pull back. Whoever did the light artillery barrage actually injured quite a lot of my own men. I'm like, I'm not going to lose this tiger at the end of this video. No way. So meanwhile, we're just going to try to hit these SU-85s. I don't care if I lose one of my Panzer IVs. Avengers see three Panzer IV. So, I've been kind of decimated. I ran into a lot of their, uh, their tanks and light artillery barrage really didn't help. So their little final assault or whatever there. I'm trying to get this guy's out of there. Their final assault was okay, but overall, I got the tank back. Could be repaired for later use if we need in the war. Let's see the kills here. I had 149 so far. 
most in the game. Guy in 133. So guys, I hope you enjoyed. These are the stats. Now if you want to look about who killed the most. The computer actually killed the most <laughs> on their team. They made a computer for about, what was it, 27 minutes or so? But the computer really wasn't that bad. It was it was the mass of their armor and stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed that armor fight. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Feel free to leave a comment. Call me 221 signing off. Hope you enjoyed.